15 year career. Got to some political news tonight. Florida Democrats have a lot to rebound from this year after blowout defeats in the 2022 midterms. This weekend, however, is all about recovery, rebuilding and reclaiming relevance in the Sunshine State at their annual leadership conference. Capitol reporter for Saunders tells us why party leaders are feeling more and more confident. This weekend, Florida Democrats again gather in South Florida for the Leadership Blue Conference. But there's a lot of new at this year's Blue. New leadership, new strategy, even a new kind of keynote speaker. Not a politician, but a personality. <whistles> Actor and producer Bradley Whitford. The new chair of the Florida Democrats, Nikki Freed, says it's all on purpose, offering this message for this weekend. That it's a new day for the people of our state, that we're going to try something new. Um, that we're going to go back to the basics of recruiting candidates up and down the ballot, that we are going to be focusing on messaging, of uh, focusing on um, talking to people in our state. Freed touted a perceived surge of momentum for state Dems, noting this year's event is sold out, which hasn't happened in years. The party fired up, she said, after a surprise Dem mayoral victory in Jacksonville, the DNC's revived commitment to Florida, and the state's rejection of what she considers a, quote, radical Republican party. November 2022 is never going to happen again. But it's just rhetoric without results at the polls. <laughs> Political experts tell us the Dems need to raise big funds, find more appealing candidates, and reverse that widening margin of Republicans out-registering Democrats who now have a voter deficit of nearly a half million. The state of Florida is headed in the, literally the right direction. It's a feather in the cap of the Florida GOP. The state chair thinks his party is more in lockstep with voters, saying the swing is out of this swing state. When you have good conservatives executing conservative policies, the voter respond favorably. And on the Democrat side, the radical agenda that they are pushing um, onto Florida and Floridians is, frankly, it's not being um, accepted. Freed accepts her hurdles and says Democrats are addressing voter recruitment head on. Florida Dems, she says, will bring registration efforts in-house instead of relying on third-party groups. The targets? Disillusioned Republicans and non-party voters. Perhaps bringing them into this ballroom the next time Democrats meet in Miami Beach. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.